Uh, my name is Taylor Malone and we're at the Mountain Home Food Forest in downtown Johnson City. And we planted this, a bunch of fruit and nut trees about four years ago uh, with a bunch of people from the community. I started just paying attention to my local environment and what kind of trees are growing around here and started just learning how to identify trees. And before long, I realized here in Johnson City, we have thousands of pecan trees everywhere throughout the city. Pecans aren't native to Johnson City. Uh, pecans are traditionally native to the Mississippi River and its tributaries kind of going more north up as far as Illinois, but they, they don't, they're not really native out this far east. Um, there's some really big pecan trees around here that uh, just produce an amazing amount of nuts. The tree that we visited today, I name all the trees that we visit just so I can remember them and I start paying attention to what they do every year. Sometimes pecans, they, altern they do what's called alternate bearing where they have a big crop one year and then nothing the next year, maybe nothing for two years. So after I pick up a pecan, I'm gonna let it dry out for a couple days, um, maybe a week. And uh, at that point, it's gonna be ready to crack. Um, the moisture needs to leave the nut, so there's a little bit of an air gap in there, so it's easy to get them out. So black walnuts are native to Northeast Tennessee and to a huge area of the United States. Uh, they're a really fast growing tree. They grow up in areas that have recently been disturbed, so they're kind of a pioneer species. The first step after you pick up the walnuts is getting that hull off. And ideally, you wanna get that hull off as soon as possible while it's still green. We built this walnut huller to get that hull off in kind of the first processing stage. So I took a bunch of scrap metal and welded it up just kind of as a prototype, a proof of concept. Um, so I took a water heater and an old mower deck and an old shopsmith motor and welded it all up and it works perfect. Black walnuts, they're really like a multi-stage process and they're sort of a pain. I mean, you get the hull off and then you gotta crack them and then you gotta separate the nut out of the shell. Um, so we're working on a process to make black walnut oil um, where you basically just husk it and then you can actually press the oil out while it's still in the shell. If you are interested in nuts or have any questions or anything, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook, Taylor Malone. Happy to, to converse with you about all things foraging and fruits and nuts.